Hey guys, welcome back to Geometry Dash 3002. Last time we made like 94%. 94! We died in a relatively easy location by like. Well, what I think. Oh my god. I'm trying to move my mouse into a comfy position. And yeah, you saw what just happened. I clicked the buttons in all the wrong places and then I went splat. I'm going splat. Universally. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Going sp Jesus Christ, that's close. Yeah, going splat is not something people like. Especially, you know, when they're trying to not die. It tends to... It tends to mess with the not dying aspect of life. A little bit. Depending on how you go splat, of course. If you go splat wipeout style, it's kind of funny. But apart from then, going splat is... No. Oh my god. See, I almost went splat there. That would have gone very badly. That's why I said, oh my god. No, I pronounced it like that, but I felt like it, okay? Leave me alone. Yes, I'm mature. L listen to me, okay? Don't you love how I said listen to me and then went quiet? And that was after I said it, and I realised how stupid that was. And ironic, so it's kind of funny at that time, but oh well. Let's do this. Didn't click quite enough. One second, I need to lower the chair because I hadn't lowered it yet. Oh, chair? Chair? Oh, there we go. It wasn't going down for a second. It just said now. The thing said now. Okay, that's a bit better. So it's want to be a little low because I moved the chair up a bit. So, uh, like yesterday I moved it so low that like the arms of the chair would collide with, um, well, I was holding the button, but I held the button so it wouldn't, well, so it go off the lip. Then I let go, so I wasn't holding it in. Oh, that time I was holding it and it died. Why? God damn it! But yeah, the other time it died, I was holding the button until it went over the lip of the bit where I bonk off of, and it just went up before the lip ended, which is a bit confusing. Like it basically started going up before I let go, but then I did let go because I didn't think it was gonna go up. I was going with what I, my brain said was going to happen, because of what should have happened, instead of what the game actually did. Oh well. But yeah, I moved the chair so like the arm would collide with the table before, so I moved it up for when I'm doing anything else. But when I'm doing Jumper Shash, I tend to have it quite low, because of the whole new position of whatnot. That was a really, really unlucky death. It was like, so close to be unsurvived, but just in a place that wasn't quite plausible. Bit of a shame. Oh well. Not a huge issue. Not a huge one. Do -do. Again! Brain, stop doing that. It's just so catchy, man. It's just so catchy. And to be honest, no, don't stop doing it. Uh, dip, uh, where, 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 sir, are you feeling okay? You don't want to jump? Like, those are the times that's even, like, more sad than it just says it doesn't want to jump, because, like, you're doing a thing, and then you see that you're about to die, but there's nothing you can actually do. Once you've fallen, you've fallen, and there's no saving you. It's like, well, I had a, I had a good life. Sadly, it's now drifting away from me, as I slowly fall into this pit. Which can be a little bit sad, but oh well. Okay. Jeez, cry. Oh, nice. Lots of close calls, let's hopefully not have any in this section. So wish me luck that I don't have that issue. Good stuff, that was a little tight at the end, but it worked. I'm telling you, that's not a section, that's four sections. Like, you go from wave to something else, Sonic, and then you go to another wave, and then spaceship. I don't know if I could survive that. If I could, that would have been so tight. Like, I barely made it through there because I went a bit too far over before starting to pull up. But yeah, that... I don't know if I sh Like, I'm perfectly fine with dying there. I tried my best, but it just didn't quite go right. That was awful. Yeah, I tried, it just was slightly off. But I don't know if it was possible to survive where I got to. It may have been. 
If it was, there was not much leeway. That was probably like near pixel precision if you could have survived. So, tell me in the comments if I was, yeah, I don't think you could actually tell if I survived. Well, as you can like, you, there's a mathematical way you could do it, I assume, it's just, it would be a little bit difficult. Especially with like no way of telling when my inputs were like being held and letting go. Yeah, that's an issue. Oh, that was very close. That was very, very close. I'm alive though. Wish me luck on these now four seconds rather than one. Smooth, made it past that bit three times in a row. By in a row, I mean like we haven't failed that part yet. So it's not really in a row, but you know, we haven't failed it in the video. That's what I mean to say. Wish me luck. I'm just gonna say, I swear to you, I let go of that button. I let go. It kept going up, because that part isn't that hard, I'm used to it being a different angle, like, it's not that hard, <laughs> it's exactly the same as doing it normally, except a slightly different angle, but the, because the passageways are basically the same, because, you know, it's basically tilting the passages and your ship to be a different angle, it's not that bad, but it, it kills me when I let go of the button. Ah, why must you screw me in such ways again? Could have beaten it in that attempt. Could have done. Urgh. I don't know why that keeps happening recently. I do not know why. But oh well. Oh well. But yeah, that was a good attempt. First seven minutes, and we already made it there. Okay, I'm hoping we can actually like get progress in the video. I hope to beat the level, but I feel like we're gonna get past the wave and then die after that. Or probably die on the wave a few more times. But I think we're at least gonna have it once in the video. Where I die um, normally. You know, after that bit. That's what I hope for or survival. I hope to at least make it out of there or just to clutch it. Um, no, excuse me, that should not kill me, that is a thing I can, like, slide along, because it is a tiny little square gap, and my ship is bigger than that. That's, like, I've gone across gaps like that before, it won't kill you, because you physically can't fit in the gap to, to die in anything. That was horse hockey, you know it, game. You know it. See, the game's not... It's not feeling too bad about screwing me over today. Like, most games have been like that today. Apart from Isaac. Isaac was very nice to me. Because Isaac, you know, I have shown much love. Maybe the other games are jealous and that's why they're doing it. Maybe. Maybe. Wish me luck. Yeah, I saw that coming. I jumped too early. I always say it before that bit because that part's not exactly hard, but it's not my favourite thing in the world. Yeah, the reason I say games have been nice to me today is because Fortnite has been... This has probably been the worst day of Fortnite I've ever had. Like, every fight I would get into, um, what was the word to come up? Yeah, every fight I got into, it was like, if it was close combat, I would have like a pistol or a rifle, someone that have a shotgun. Um, I was being killed by shots that didn't even hit me, like, we looked back in the replay, the shots didn't touch me. Um, I had other rounds where, one second, yeah, I was going to say, how do I survive that long, I bonked and it sort of stuck to the ground again, but eventually let go, that was weird, but yeah, another one, I landed at retail row, got a submachine gun, started shooting at someone that was on top of the water tower, landed loads of hits, then, um, they had a rifle, 
and I was like, okay, that's not too bad. And then they killed me with like the first three shots while holding down the fire button. Like they didn't fire three individual bullets. Even then, that wouldn't have killed me because it would have done um, less damage. So I was a bit unhappy about that. They had like 20 HP left. But yeah, I got basically screwed over again, which didn't make me feel too good. Okay, wish me luck. It's all right. Son, well, that time it didn't even go. That was extremely rude. But oh well, oh well. But yeah, Fortnite has not been too kind to me recently, or today. And I had a round where I was second, and I completely deserved second because I, well, not necessarily second. I deserved less, but the reason I was second is because I, uh, I got two kills, but you know, I didn't do great overall in the game. And I died to the final guy and landed one shot with a shotgun. Admittedly, the game screwed me with me a bit because um, I had some shots on people that I saw hits with the one shot accuracy. That happened a lot there, actually. The first shot accuracy, where you hold or you um, aim at someone for long enough, eventually your cursor will go down to a point. You fire the first shot and it'll hit. If you hold down the fire button with an automatic weapon then it'll just become, it'll be bloomed again, so it's not ridiculously overpowered, and the damage will drop off a little. But the amount of shots I've had that were on people, and it's just done no damage. It sucks, man. Okay, wish me luck. Wish me luck, never mind, the game's gonna kill me because of reasons that the game cannot tell you because it's designed by a gibbon. And will kill you in any way it see fit. But yeah, games have not been on my side. But yeah, the final guy I could have easily killed because we were both missing all our shotgun shots. But yeah, we both missed all our shotgun shots. Otherwise, probably would have gone a bit better if. I like actually landed shots. I've also had it where I've been hit for like 80 damage from like probably 20 meters with a shotgun. That wasn't too good. Like, hey, I'm using a rifle at a range. That's good. And then that happens. And I've also had it where I've been sniping people in distance, and if I shoot at them, I do no damage with rifles or snipers. And I've had it where they've just hit me with loads of shots with rifles from a ridiculous range. It makes me sad. And I shouldn't be talking, but YOLO. How did I survive that? Don't ask me. I don't know. I can't give you the answers. I'm hoping we can at least make it to the wave on this one. I clutched it. I completely clutched that. I should not have made it as far as I did, but the fact that I died was just kind of sad because it was such a good attempt. But the reason I died is because I thought I should have already died, so my brain was had basically given up. And then I kickstarted it back into gear, but it was too late. It was too late. But yeah, Fortnite not been my forte today. I've had like almost no kills. I probably had like four in total or something. That's not very many kills. That's pretty bad. That was also pretty bad. You didn't see what just happened. It's not like I didn't hold the button or anything. He totally didn't press the button. But still, I'm, I'm good at the game. It's, I, I, I do all the right inputs. Just the game screws me over. Yeah, I'm on loads of YouTube. So I'm playing the game constantly. Which, in some ways, is true. I try and not do it constantly. I will blame myself a lot. In Fortnite, today was mostly me blaming the game. Because, you know. When you literally have a replay you can go back on and see someone shoot behind you or at your feet after you jump. Meaning it is past your feet and on the floor. Because that's where your feet once were and not where they are currently. And it still kills you. It doesn't feel good. It just feels real bad. The fact that you can be killed like that. But oh well. Wish me luck on this one.
Wow, that was real bad. I held the button and it sort of went down a bit. Like, I held the button, it started to pull up, went down a little. And then it started to go up again. So I, I just didn't get the height. That was not good. I'm gonna accept that. Maybe my finger slipped off the button. I'm not so sure. But, you know, I'll accept that. It wasn't... It was a bad death, but it didn't seem like one I could really control. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. But see, I can blame myself. That wasn't me just trying to blame myself to prove a point, by the way. That was me just making up an excuse and it, calling it in, uh, an intentional death. It was just something happened. With luck. Well, I'm just gonna say I let go. And I, phys I let go and physically watched it keep going upwards. Not for much time, probably like a couple of milliseconds, but I doubt my brain has that much delay. O oftentimes, it's not like that. I can do a thing, I let go of the button, it goes down, I see it, and I'm like, good, now I can do the next part. But that time, it's just like, no, you're gonna die here. Why? Eh, I felt like it. Ah, felt like it. Yeah, like, in Fortnite, I got to the point where I just felt, not, I was about to say I felt dirty. Also, another part where the game screwed me, it didn't kill me, I'll say it after this attempt, but still, it didn't screw me, but it was really, really rude. One second. Why does it stick to the floor? Like, whenever it does that, I'm holding the button, meaning it should start going up, but it just doesn't. Like, I, I don't understand what significant property that floor holds. Because if that floor wasn't there, and I pulled up, it would just start pulling up. With the floor, it doesn't pull up for the first, like, half second, like, three quarters of a second of you doing it. It's so bad. I don't know why, like, that's why whenever it pulls up, as soon as I start holding the button, I get confused, like, hey, thanks for doing this, but why are you doing this? Can you never do this before? But yeah, talk about the thing that screwed me over in Fortnite. Basically, um, well, I picked up multiple shotguns so no one would get them at normal spot, and I said, okay, We'll do double pump because I'm mad because I don't like double pumps, but I did it on this attempt. And screw it, I'll just keep talking through this. So I went to do it, switch weapon, it didn't switch. Well, that's, that's a death that's not caused by me talking, that's just a really, 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 really rare occurrence. But oh well. Yeah, I switched weapon, it, it didn't switch. So I had to reload, like, I had, it wasn't double pump, I had the pump attack. I was gonna just use the pump shotgun to do a quick bit of damage and get out of tactical just to finish him off. First shot did some okay damage, next shot was like 120 and it basically destroyed him. And he didn't fire a shot, surprisingly. He was running at me with a shotgun. He saw me leave my house. But he didn't hit me and didn't try and shoot at me. Which was kind of confusing, but it was nice of him. But the game didn't switch weapons and I, I pressed the right button. I made sure I pressed the right button. But it didn't do it. Oh, I don't know why sometimes it does that and then just doesn't come down. Like, it'll be steadily increasing. Like, that time I didn't do the thing where I just mashed the button and make it... Well, that was impossible. I was so far to the right, it was literally impossible to bounce over that. Good. Good, good, good. But yeah, um... What was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, I was doing it that time. Like, before, yesterday I complained, not complained. I blamed myself for mashing the button too quickly, but did it one too many times, because it steadily increased in height, meaning it steadily made it so it would take longer to go down again. But that time I compensated for that, and clicked at regular intervals, so it was going up little by little, at the same interval, but the final time, it just went up, way further than it was meant to, way further than the other ones, and it, it completely screwed me, it just, you know, kinda sucks, but oh well, I'll do this time. This 
smooth. Like, I actually, like, let go of the button when I was underneath that, just to make sure I'd make it under the saw. Because it's still pretty close to, sword, close to that saw than the bottom saw, even after that. But wish me luck. That's my bad. My bad completely. I had a really bad line to that section because I pressed the button. I clicked with the. Like, I should have been able to salvage that, but I'm bad. But with the. For God's sake. With the. Um. Section with the UFO. Not the upside down one. The upside down one was fine. As much as I had to sort of go out of my comfort zone a little. Basically, what I did wrong. Was I pressed the button? I think it was. It was either too early or too late. Either way, it made it kind of awkward to slide through the gaps, and I was kind of surprised I made it to where I did, and then completely flopped. Oh, I scratched my eye. Bad time to scratch eye, but at least I didn't do it in this section. That section was just yeah. You press the button a couple of times. This one's yeah. Hold the button and don't die, making it a bit harder. Since this, it's just you jump. As we've gone over. One second. Yep. I was scratching my nose at the time. I, I, like, as I've said before, every time, or a lot of times at least, it, like, I don't normally get like an itchy nose or an itchy head or anything else itchy until that section where I'm like, yeah. Um, let me focus. It just happens right then. Like, it literally happened as I said it. As I went quiet, my nose was like, yep, scratching me. So I started to scratch it, and it caused me to die. I don't, I'm like, seriously, I'm not making this stuff up. I'm scratching my nose now as well, because it didn't quite go away. So, yeah, that caused another death. I'm, I can't even remember. Was I in the middle of saying that when I died there? Possibly. That was just awful. That was just abysmal. Yeah, if I'm, like, scratching a part of my face or something, because of the humidity in this room right now, like, just over a month ago, it, we had so much snow. It was, like, early March. Loads of snow. Every now, like mid April, it's like, yeah, I mashed the button and my finger stopped at the bottom of that, which is where you need it, so it died immediately. God damn, yeah, it's like mid April and it's like 20 degrees right now, or something, and it's like midnight. Well, probably not right now, but when I left Annie's house, more my throat went there, at like 9 pm, it was like really hot. <laughs> really freaking hot. No, stop, stop, stop. I'm actually gonna look up the temperature. Screw it. YOLO. Well, not YOLO, but you know. Temperature. It is currently 13 degrees. Okay, not anywhere near as hot as I said. That's because I said earlier. And then I said, ah, maybe it's not anymore. And I was correct. It's not that anymore, but it was so hot. Like, earliest day it was... I was still getting my arm comfortable there, so I actually took my hand off of the mouse to move my arm, and then I, well, I was gonna say then I realised my mistake, but to be honest, that's a bad excuse. I, I sh that was awful. I should realise that mistake before, you know, dying, because, you know, I literally took my hand off of the button in a game where the only control is a single button, which I know how to control, so it's completely my bad. I did it again. Like, I just do it without noticing, man. Until after I've said it. But yeah. Uh, the sec- The section? The what? What am I talking about? Yeah, temperature's so freaking hot, man. Don't know why. Britain's not meant to be hot. Like, for you, like, in the, this room, I swear it's hotter than it says. Because I think the heating's on to make clothes dry from being washed and stuff. Oh well. One second. How am, I, how am I not dead? How am I not dead? How am I not dead? Clutch that one. Okay. Yeah, I think the because we don't have a tumble dryer, tumble dryer broken. Stuff is drying with the heat. Ah! Oh, I thought that was an okay time to do it, but. 
like, it's just because of the speed. Like, that was so easy. I... Ah. It was so easy. It's just, it was going so fast, my brain had not registered it. My brain has not done that section enough to realise that, yeah, you know? I've died in that place before, but my brain still doesn't realise that, hey, you know, things causing your problem is not that you're just clicking too early. You're clicking fine. It's just because you're going so fast, it's not fine for the speed you're at. Normal speed? Sure. Simple. It's easy. I just keep forgetting to take into consideration the speed. Because that's the only part, well, I won't say the only part I'd have a strat for. I have a strat for it. I press the button, like, once and then twice. Now, I think my strat for that section, I don't really internalize it. It's just, it becomes natural. But it's like, I click once in the upside down section, then twice, no, then three times to get over another thing. Then the next bit, I do a thing and some stuff. I don't know. The next part, um... Ah, uh, I can't think about it right now. Let me just focus. I'm sorry. I don't need to focus. I can't think. If I could talk mindlessly like this by just saying words that will come into my brain to make a coherent sentence and then die like that because I'm an idiot, it's fine. But if I'm actually having to use my brain to think, like if it's mathematical, it's like, oh, brain being used for other things right now. Please send, leave a message and come back later. That is because it's very hard to do things. But yeah. What was I saying? I was saying something. Because I'm giving up on it. No. Um. I genuinely can't remember what I was talking about. Once again, get back to me later when my brain has decided to work again. I was talking about something. I was talking about something. But it's just. Gone. Just kaput. Gone. No longer in the brain hole. The brain has rejected the information and said, you know what, screw you. Okay, let me focus one second. Good stuff. Let's do this. Shush. My phone genuinely kind of scared me there, just because it's currently sitting on the bottom of a lap, well not the bottom of a lap, but on one of the, um, what do you call it? Rungs. It's not really a, is it called a rung still if it's a metal ladder? I don't know. I'll call it the rung. Or, no, it's a step, it's just a step ladder, not one of those ladders. Got it. It's on one of the steps of the ladder, because my brain apparently can forget the word step, because I'm an evolved human being. But yeah. It's on one of those, and it like, made a really weird noise when it vibrated when I got a notification for something. Like, normally it would just be like, Bzzz. this sound was like, Brr. It kind of sounded like an elderly man burping, it was a bit weird. Like, hearing an elderly man burp in the room at like midnight would be a bit scary, don't you think? Unless, of course, it's Santa, just to carry on from the last conversation. Even then, it's still creepy, though. Like, you know, fat, jolly old man, eats cookies, then burps. Boom. Ah, I realised my mistake as soon as I did it. Ah, oh, that was stupid. Like, it was, that, the first bit getting over that ridge was perfect. That was perfect. It couldn't have been better, honestly. In my opinion, could not have been better. But the next bit, like, I should have waited a little bit longer to start on the button. That was where it went wrong. That part is not that bad. Like, it's like the part in Club Step, except a bit more precise, of, of course, but still. It's like the part in Club Step, which I struggled with, where you have to go down. It's essentially like the part in this level, where you go down and there's spikes on the bottom, you've got to avoid the spikes. Except there's a little bit more to it than that. But that part's a little bit more awkward. It's got that little ridge in front of you. Like it's like that section in the last in club steps. What I mean, but yeah, the part I'm at, or the part where I keep dying, is kind of different in a way. Ah, 
that's what happens when your mind wanders. My mind was currently wandering, or was wandering then, it was not currently. But it was just like, I like when I pressed the button, I pushed my mouse, and my brain went, oh, should I move the mouse back, should I leave it there, oh, I don't know. While playing level, my brain was just like, nope, can't do this, can't do two things at once, cannot multitask, I am man, not Iron Man, I am man. Apparently, I'm also a Neanderthal. I am man, Unga Bunga. Did they even say Unga Bunga? I assume they didn't say Unga Bunga, it's just something people sit. I'm just gonna say I didn't press the button that second time. When it jumped, just gonna say, I definitely didn't press the button then, because my brain fell out or something. But yeah, I didn't press the button on the second jump. I stopped. Phone stopped sounding like an elderly man burping. Stop it. It's really weird. God damn it. I had, like, I had one another sudden itch. Just on my belly. It's a weird place to get an itch, but still. Just a really random itch on my belly. Bad time. Bad time. But oh well. It's not that bad, it's just a little bit irritating, don't you think? So my brain went, oh god, sudden itch, has to scratch, to get rid of the, the urge to scratch it for the rest of time. So I did that and it made me die. I can't remember wh when I died, to be honest, because I've been talking about so Stop with the old man burps phone. I've told you this. I've told you. But there's a single hair in my eye then. Yeah, I, I never actually, well, no, I'll say it in a second. There we go. Yeah, I never actually explained why there's a ladder in my room. Basically, redecoration and whatnot. But yeah, we cleaned out a bunch of stuff from couples from childhood. One second, I gotta focus. I'm so bad! I'm so bad! Once you're in that section and you, like, have control, because I struggle to get control on that section, so I keep dying really early in it. But once you have the control, it's fine, but I just, I let the level get to me. I let it get to me. I think one of the things that made me go is, well, I know I say I'm used to it, admittedly, that part I must just not be properly used to or something, because... What happened was, well, you saw what happened. Basically, I was really far left. Don't know what I was trying to do there, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was really far left, which made me think, hey, I'm going to hit the ceiling faster, because I will, because up and down is way faster with that thing. So I went down, it was far too early and killed me. I survived! Clutch run! Clutch run! <laughs> This is the round that's going to win because I clutched it. Calling it right now. Let's do this! I... I just saying, I pressed the button. I pressed the button. It didn't do anything. And that's really annoying. Because that was 95%. It's progress. It's progress. So I'm kind of okay with it. But I'm saying this from my teeth right now. As you can probably guess. I'm a little unhappy. I pressed the button. That one, I just... I stopped pressing the button. Phone, shut up. You're gonna fall off of that ladder. <sighs> My heart is racing like a freaking rabbit. 95. But yeah, I pressed the button and it was before I died. I'm telling you now. I can promise you. I can promise. And that makes me so sad because it was at 95%. I just want to make it out of that section so I can see what's coming. My hand is now slightly shaking. Like, it's trembling, so I made it there twice relatively quickly, and we may focus on one of the attempts. Ah. I 
do this. Yep, so I got my arm was still trembling, but I somehow managed to go so quick that I actually died before the next one. Phone, shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Yeah, the reason there's a step ladder in my room is because of redecoration and whatnot and removing old childhood memories from the cupboard and selling stuff that I don't want, that I never used as a child and stuff. And just dumping stuff that's completely useless and broken because children break everything. So yeah, that's going well. I've made some money off of stuff. Gave the neighbors like a bag of like loads of old childhood clothes. Got a little bit of money for that. Um, sold like a tiny pocket microscope and micro um, the telescope. I mean, one minute, no, one second. Barely too high. I added an extra click, and I wondered if I should or shouldn't, and I clearly shouldn't have. Yeah, a pocket microscope and um. Monocular thing. Like, it's like binoculars, but not binocular. It's monocular because it has one lens that you look for. Binoculars are binoculars because it has a well, buy at the front, which means it has two things. And um, monocular is for one. So a triocular would be for someone who's weird and has three eyes. I'm not saying if you have three eyes you're weird, by the way. I meant abnormal. Oh, now I feel bad if I have offended people. Sorry, I didn't mean it. That was kind of clutch. But yeah, like, I, I guess you can possibly be deformed with three eyes, I don't know. I'm not calling you weird if you are, you're perfectly normal. I went really high up over the ridge, so I, I had to pull up early. It was apparently just slightly too early. I literally probably... It doesn't look like it, because I died... Like, it wasn't even that close to me surviving. But, like, because it would have made me go further, like, up the screen, it would have made it so next time I did stuff... Like, it made me go further up the screen, so... It also makes my angle different. So then it would take longer to turn, or flip it up. Which is why I'm saying that. Plus, I have progress further across the screen as well. But, you know, stuff and things. But yeah, it's going well, the selling things. We haven't sold much. We've only, like, well, we basically gave the neighbors clothes and then they came around because they're really nice and gave me some money for it. And the other stuff was just sold to, like, um, one second. Yep. Never talk in that section, or you will fail because I'm bad. Or I will fail because I'm bad, not you. No offense. Pardon me. They sold that to and his family for like a couple of pounds. So I don't know if they're going to be any good, so you know. And I wasn't intentionally trying to get money off of Andy's family, by the way. They, like, they they paid him for it. Basically, like the neighbors. They would not accept it. So then I bought the family some gifts. Some nice. Yeah. With some of the money I got. I don't know what happened there, but my hand just apparently decided to have the longest delay on pressing the button. Because I didn't press the button on the floating pink thing, which is why I died. It was completely on me. But I don't know why, but I pressed it really late. It's not even that I didn't press it at all, or that it was slightly off and I'm confused why I died. It's like, I, I clicked really late. <laughs> I don't quite know why. That time. I always hate dying like that, because it's possible to save it if you hold the button instead of clicking it really quickly, because you're trying to click it that quickly. It's possible to save it if it's not at that point. If you do it at that point, you're dead. Because you miss the jump as soon as you hit the portal, which saves your life. Because, like, when I get there, I'll show you. Look how tight it is. It's right here. Look how close I am to the floor. That time I died, because I just wasn't quite clicking fast enough. Yeah, th those deaths were because my mouse went off the screen for the first one. The second one, I was re- like, arranging my mouse into a nice, comfortable position. But yeah. Um, that section where I died on the floor and I was explaining why I died the other time, completely both on me. One of them 
Like what? I'll do it this time. There you go. If you miss an input when you're at the bottom of the screen there, you will just die. If you get the first input and then you accidentally hold it, you can recover. Very, very close, but you can. And I have done it in the past, and it scares me whenever it happens, because it feels like I shouldn't be there because I should be dead. But oh well, let's do this. I, 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 hand, you're a disappointment. My brain did not say to press the button. My hand just flinched and pressed the button. Ah. Of course, the amount of times I've button mashed in those sections and it's not gone off all the right things. Like, remember how I used to do these old sections where it like, not go off the right things even while button mashing because it's like that precise? Of course, the one time my finger flinches. Just a little flinch and presses the button when I didn't want it to. It is on a thing and kills me. Dirty. Dirty. Okay, that should have killed me because I was moving my mouse again. And I still want to, but I'm going to wait till after this attempt now. One would hope at least if I can restrain myself long enough because I find it hard to restrain myself from doing these things. That's why whenever I scratch my face I die and I'm like, oh, scratch my face. It's a bad excuse. I just should ignore it. But then it causes the itching sensation which is equally as off-putting. And if I can just scratch it and get away with it, and not die, it means the irritation is gone, and I have a chance to survive, rather than be irritated the entire time. You know? Either way, let's do this. Yep, I knew I was early on that one. Dry my hand because it's really sweaty, because gross reasons of me playing this game for too long. Just these videos like an hour long now, each. Apart from the last one where I was playing really bad. This one made just scrape an hour. Don't know how I didn't die there, just gonna say that now. This one should hopefully make it to an hour. I'm hoping. I'm not 100 percent sure, I'm hoping it will. Oh, I just found a new position for my finger to be on the mouse, and it's really nice. I was bought because like um what are things called that you even click on this mouse? Since like I guess the left and right mouse buttons are really big on this mouse, like they go really far back so I can sort of get into a core position with my index finger just so I can put all my pressure on it rather than laying my entire finger on the button which is making it really easy just to click Ah, oh, I'm not making me play any better apparently it's not even that it's not making me play better, it's just I'm dying in ways that I haven't made consistent it's just, it, the deaths happen so rarely I don't feel like it needs consistency so it's keep, it, I keep dying like that, basically. That's my explanation, leave me be. Come on. With this new fangled hand grippy position of goodness. See, missed an input, but it survived somehow. Yeah. Um, with my new fangled hand grippy mouse position of awesome, we can do this. As much as I just completely fumbled everything right there. That was real bad. Real bad. Don't know why, my brain's saying I'm not gonna make it there anymore in the video. Admittedly, we haven't got that many attempts left. And by that, we've got like another 15 minutes. There's another one, like one quarter of the entire video. But still, you know, that only leaves 25 attempts depending on if we get to 100 attempts or not. I'm hoping we get there again. I feel like we can. I just don't believe in myself for some reason, but let's do this uh, either way. Come on! We can go, we can go the distance, and we can do this. Wish me all of the lucks in the world, please. I need it. That death I'm not okay with. I didn't hit the floor. 
I got into the portal, but I didn't die to the floor, which is why I'm not okay with it. I died to something that last time I did it, I went through because I thought it was background. That time I hit it and died. I feel like it's not something I clipped through the first time, that seems unlikely. But my heart just dropped. Because, thanks game, for killing me in a really cruel way. That's like being dumped via a text message. Levels of cruel. Okay, wish me luck. Next time's a charm, I guess. Yeah. Like, it just cut me off. I was like, no, you're dead now. Why? I don't know. Just die. Wish me luck. I pulled up too early again. If I just didn't do that, I would have such a good chance to, like, beat the level or at least make progress that isn't 1%. Like, at this point, I don't really want to settle for percentages, I want to beat the level. We're like 5% off. It can't be that bad at the end. I'm pretty sure the last bit is just with the cube as well. I'm not 100%, but the way the landscape looks, I think it is. But I'm going to have to find out. Like, I've seen it twice. And in practice mode. But I've forgotten what practice mode is like, so, you know. Well, I've forgotten what it's like in practice mode, not what practice mode is like. That, I said it wrong. Forget what I said. Go. Why? It was going so smooth. I was like, okay, it's a little low. Let's tap the button. And it, it got so much height. It was not going to thread the needle through the gap. So I tapped the button so it thread the needle. And did you see the height it got? And the reasons I'm saying, yeah, I wouldn't have done this thing, is because I've, I'm get, I've gotten used to the spaceship. I've, I've been used to the spaceship since the first goddamn level of the game. You get used to the physics of it. But, when it's got all these different, like, abilities of, like, going up and down, like it, what I just did there, I don't know what caused that, but it got really high up. I survived it, doesn't mean I know what I was doing. But, when it's swooping like that, I know how to control it. It's so simple. But, sometimes, it'll just kill you. And you're not going to feel good about it. Because, you know, in a way it's your fault, but at the same time, it's doing things that I can't explain. Like, I don't want to class it as my fault if I can't explain what made me die, unless it's something I haven't done before. It was something that... Okay, that's just cruel. It, that's even worse. I was moving my hand once again. But yeah, if, it, if I'm dying in a way that I've never died before, but I've done the section like a hundred times, then I can question the game. And that's what's happening. I've made that probably not a hundred times, but a fair few. And I'm dying to it a bunch. And that's making me quite sad. Because I don't know why... Like, I, I know why. But I don't know why it sometimes is just flicking me into the air. The percentage is a bit different to 1 in 100. It's more like, like 10 in 80. I still don't know what it is. It's not super common odds. But it's okay, you know. Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it this time. Smooth. I can feel you wishing. Wish harder. There's that guy at the back. Billy. Billy! Believe. Thanks, Billy. Yep, Billy, you, you faked it. You faked it, Billy! Billy! Why'd you do these things? Yeah, the reason that one went south is because I went into the um, first upside down portal a bit too quickly, which means I was still going up. So then I waited a little too long, 
And by too long, I mean like, probably not too long, I'm just bad. Please, inputs work. I beg of you. Yeah, I was doing things and stuff and whatnot, I don't know. And it was going, it, it was going well. But the reason it went south so quickly is because I let it go up a bit. Like, I, hand, what are you doing? I didn't even hold the button. It's just, well, you saw what happened there. The buttons, it was just like, yeah, I'm pressing this at all the wrong time. I don't know why, but it did. This is why I don't think I'm going to beat the level in this video, but also the fact that I keep dying in these dumb ways that I have not made consistent or just out of my control. I'm trying to explain things. Let me explain it now, please. Basically, I died because... Was it? There we go. I died because when it was going up, it was going up at such a rate that I decided to pull up a bit too hard because, like I said, I went in the first portal upwards angle, making it go upwards higher because of gravity, blah, 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 blah. And it killed me. I'm just awful. I'm bad. I need to just shut up and quit. I need to quit life. That's no, no I'm not going to go that far. That's bad. I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I meant, like, it, that, was, that was one of the times it was bad to let your mouth just ramble when you're just trying to focus at a game. Because that's what happens when your mouth wanders. It wasn't exactly racist or anything, but, you know, it could be sensitive to some people, so I apologize to those people. Sincerely. I hate what I just said. But what I was trying to explain was I pulled up too hard because it was going at an upwards angle, meaning it was hard to pull up and I did it bad. See, that's what I was trying to say. But I'm being really bad at the game right now, which is why I said that thing, but I didn't mean to say it like that. I meant to say, like, I should just quit YouTube and quit gaming and turn off my computer forever and go work in, like, McDonald's. Like, to be honest, as much as working in McDonald's sounds like an awful job to most, I'm like, well... Well, the inputs didn't hold. But yeah. Well, not hold, it's just I held the button accidentally. But yeah. Ah, oh, I clicked! And it died after I clicked. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm bad. I shouldn't have clicked. I thought it was going to go down faster because I got in that section quite smoothly. Apologies for silence, but I need to focus. And that was good focus, and I should have like had a chance to beat the level. But the reason I died is because, like I said, I clicked. And I've recently been doing that section without clicking, which has been helping. But sometimes you need it, so that's one I thought I did because I got in the section quite early. So I thought I'd go, well, up, which is technically down because of gravity. Um, earlier than I expected or normally would want to, and it got me gilded. So yeah, that, that's what caused the death. It was really, really bad. Because I had a really good chance on that one, but oh well, let's do it this time. Yep. I don't know what my finger was doing. Apparently, my hand is getting fatigued. It didn't used to do this while playing with you, but now it is. Like, I'm glad at that time I don't even know why I didn't jump off of the thing, seriously. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it to an hour once again. I'm getting worse. I'm getting worse. I'm getting worse. Bear with me yesterday, at least, and we made progress at least. 
but still. But the first 75% of this video, pretty good. The rest is a bit meh. But, you know. Oh, for God's sake, I'm so bad. But yeah, about the McDonald's topic, it, would, it wouldn't be great, you know, dealing with customers that some of them are pretty rude. Like, some are nice, some would be very nice, I assume. But, you know, you'd probably get bored of McDonald's. But I like McDonald's. I used to really love KFC as well, but now KFC's sort of going downhill. Like, it's very rare to find a KFC here anymore. You still find them in, like, big cities, but one of the ones in the nearest city to me has closed down. And it's, like, becoming a block of flats or something. It's like, wow. What happened to you, KFC? It used to be so nice. Like, the popcorn chicken, what did they do? Like, you used to, like, sit there and be like, ooh, I need a drink. Well, I challenge myself not to drink. One second. Well, that's another one where the game screwed me because I, I, I let go of the button. That was I was completely central. It was so easy. I let go of the button. I, I keep saying when, oh yeah, I accidentally held the button or I accidentally let go of the button or held in, but blah blah. That time I didn't though. That time I didn't though. Yeah. Um, the popcorn chicken used to be really nice and like have some spice to it, and I used to challenge myself to not have a drink with it because you know I was a small child that was there to be spicy to me. And now I'm like, oh, spicy food, give it to me. But yeah, it, it was okay. And now it's like, I, I can't taste anything apart from just chicken. Sure, it's edible, but it's not what it used to be. It used to be so good. No wonder they're going out of business. Rip KFC, 2K18. At least give this a good shot. It's like second class attempt, I think. Wish me luck. I I clicked. Oh! I could have beaten it. You don't jump there. And then I think the next thing you fly, you jump off something in mid-air and then you finish. Possibly. If not, then rip. But, but that's the last temp. That's the last temp. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I'll reserve that temp for another day. 96. We are so close. Oh, God damn. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're still enjoying the series. I sure as hell know I am, as much as the game's kind of screwing me. Everything doesn't seem like me today, computer-wise, but oh well. I'll see you guys next time. See ya!